in this video we will see uh, the sum of the operators that is type size of and the length of operators okay so we have used this uh, size of and length of operators already in our previous lectures you know already about them but in order to see the basic difference because these all are quite simple uh, quite similar right so to check the uh, proper difference between all of them uh, i'm making making a separate video on these operators so these operators are basically very simple if you know the difference so firstly let go uh, let's go toward the type operator what this type operator does is it just returns the size of the single element whether it is an array it is any um, variable declaration or like this it will just return the size of the single array element or single operand not of all the initializers of the array this is the basic um, you can say distinction okay so it returns the size in bytes you have to remember not in bits but in bytes okay so see this example i am having this variable one type is byte it means the data type is byte and it is left uninitialized any number can come over here whether it can be it can be any array or any single element or like this okay but if you are asked to find the type of this variable then the type of each element suppose there will be initialized five elements then the type of single element will be byte all right that is type will be one byte it returns the size in bytes so here the type of variable one is byte number of bytes are one in the byte in the next case in word we know that we have 16 bits in word which means two bytes right so when it will return the size of any single element of the array or any um, single element then that will be word you can say that will be two bytes right and here in this case it will return the size as um, you can say the type would be d word that is the number of bytes would be four it will return us for no matter how many elements you have initialized or a single element or whatever but it will still just uh, give us four okay so this is very important that this deals with only a single element no matter how many elements are there whether there is no any element still it just displays the size of the single element that is here you can see we have no any element but you can say that the hint of remembering the or finding the type is that whatever data type you are given with that would be your type okay so here the type is byte so your type is byte and just uh, remember that to how many bytes it take to store data byte only take one byte to store data it means it is the it uh, you can see it will return the size as one byte and here in this case our type is what d word d word takes four bytes it will return four irrespective of the number of elements so that was the major concept for type operator so let's go uh, forward so here in this in this uh, table you can see here i have written some of the uh, expressions and their values that this type operator will return that is the size of this variable type variable one it will return us one why it is returning us one see over here its type was byte and byte contains only one byte right each element will have the size as one so it will return one similarly this variable two is word so it will return us two bytes because it contains two bytes and this contain four bytes so it will return us four right i hope you are done with this type operator very well so we can move on to the uh, uh, next operator that is the length of operator now what it does is that it returns it does not return any size okay remember that the type operator used to standard uh, send us the size of the single operand but it just returns the number of elements it 
has nothing to do with the size of the array or the type of the array okay just the number of elements in the array and this is very pretty simple right see in this example this is my variable name this is the type that is byte and if we are supposed to find the type over here in this variable then the type would be byte and it will return as one right in this case it will return as the type will be given as two here again the type would be two and here the type would be byte that is one here one here two and then here one okay so that's what the type but just length of returns that how many elements exist in any array okay so here this is our array because we are having more than one element so this is the array so uh, here the number of elements are how many one two and three it means here the length of operator is going to return me three right in the next example in next array here this is the dup operator we have seen this operator already in uh, two three videos so you have to know that first in before coming over here so what this tup operator is doing here this question mark means that here there's there will come some initializers okay it is uninitialized array and this 13 indicates the size of the array right it means that here they will come almost you can say uh, 30 elements okay and this comma zero zero means that there these two elements are extra these are also the initializers okay of this array these two are the elements of this array but here these two elements are unknown but these two uh, these ele uh, elements are unknown but these two elements are known in order to know about dup operator properly you can watch the dup operators video so in the next case this is also a dup array this is the size of array inside the parenthesis means that this is uh, this uh, parenthesis is going to repeat five times and here again this uh, three means that this parenthesis is going to repeat three times as we discussed earlier also in the videos so and in the next case string byte this is our uh, you can say integer string so it will also return us the number of uh, elements in this array but remember that string arrays or you can say the character arrays return us one size extra that is here you know that the size of your array is eight right but it will return us nine okay so you have to explicitly yourself you have to subtract one from the size to get the original uh, number of elements okay so uh, let's see it from the table as well length of byte one if you write over like this that is this byte one it will return us three number of elements are three in this dup array this array one it will return us what it will return us this 30 plus these two elements are extra it means that here we have how many elements 30 elements so 30 multiplied by here how many elements exist it means this 30 indicates that here we can have 30 elements okay so 30 plus 2 right so here the size is 30 plus 2 that is 32 here uh, in this case we are using the nested dup which means dup another another dup okay so in this case this 5 indicates the size indicates that this parenthesis is going to repeat 5 times like here this 30 indicates that whatever is here is going to repeat 30 times so there will can be 30 elements right so again over in this uh, dup this 3 indicates that there can be 3 elements so if there can be 3 elements over here in this dup in this dup there can be 3 elements and in this whole dup there can be 5 elements and since this is nested it means we can have 5 cross 3 elements if you are finding it very difficult then please watch that video first okay so here we are having 5 into 3 elements in the array so here as i have told earlier it will return us 9 
here 9 so you have to explicitly subtract 1 so note that the same thing as we've seen that length of returns one size extra so we have to subtract 1 okay and when the nested up uh, operator comes then it returns the products of the two counters and this is we have seen that it is returning us the product of this 5 and this this uh, first size that is 5 and the another size that is 3 5 cross 3 okay so next and lastly we have the size of operator before coming to this operator you need to know very well about the type and the uh, length of operator if you know about that then you can simply calculate the size of operator or size of value so in very simple uh, simple terms if i tell you then it is the product of type and the length of values product of these two values see in this example to understand this is my name of the array this is the type that is the word this is the size that is uh, 32 cross 1 here we have a single element one element that is 0 so 32 cross 1 and I am moving this uh, size of int array eax what this uh, size of will give us see over here since size of is the product of type and length of so firstly we have to find these two things as I have told the type is what you can simply guess the type from this that here the this type is word which means it will return us two bytes right so the type is two bytes number of elements how many number of elements we have size is 32 right so it means we have 32 elements in our array the zero is being initialized 32 times okay so we have 32 elements so size of uh, operator will be will give us what 32 cross 2 that is 64 bytes okay so finding the size of operator is very simple you just need to know about these two operators first so that's it for this video. Thank you.